Hi children, today is Friday, May 8th, so today we will see uh, grammar, okay? So you will need your grammar notebooks, and I want you to pay attention to this very important topic, okay? Um, so look at this, we have must and mustn't, yes? Must, mustn't. Okay. Uh, uh, you're going to write something, uh, some information, okay? It's going to be on your grammar notebooks. So look at this. Okay. Must and mustn't. Are also called are also called modal verbs. Modal verbs, okay? And they are form they are formed by adding so she knows. by adding by adding by adding oh children I'm sorry I'm thinking my information because my dog was biting my bite um okay by adding the simple form of the verb after it. Okay. So most and most are also called modal verbs. They are formed by adding the simple form of the verb after it. Okay. So these are called modal verbs. Modal verbs are can, should, would, could, okay, must, mustn't, must, debes, okay, debes, pero en una forma educada como una, un deber, como por ejemplo, tienes que, pero en una forma así como que está siendo un poco estricto y una forma más educada de decir que tú debes de hacer, okay, y no debes de hacer, ¿sale?, Okay, I want to erase this. Okay, so must is used. Must is used to express. The speakers. authority. It refers also, it refers also to unwritten rules in a place. Okay, so Must is used to express the speaker's authority. Vamos aquí a expresar la autoridad del que está hablando. And it refers also to unwritten rules in a place. Y se va a referir también a las reglas que no están escritas en un lugar. For example, if you go to a museum, a lo mejor vas a poner, eh, you must not take pictures, okay? Or if you go to a swimming pool, you must wear uh, your bathing suit. Yes, things that you have to do, pero que son de una manera un poco más eh, estrictas, pero también de una manera más uh, formales, ¿ok? Yes, ok. For example, you must take off your shoes. If you go to a very special uh, place, for example, in China or Japan, you must... 
you must take off, quitarte, take off your shoes. Yes. And eh, también es, expresamos eh, prohibiciones, ¿ok? Este, cosas que son prohibidas. Prohibitions, por ejemplo, you mustn't take photographs here. En un museo, you mustn't take photographs here, ¿ok? Generalmente va a venir must not, que sería must not el mustn't, ¿ok? Ok, children. I'm going to erase this. You're going to copy this on your grammar notebook. It's, it's important information. So must is used to express the speaker's authority. It refers also to unwritten rules in a place. You must take off your shoes. This is my example, e.g. You must take off your shoes. You mustn't take photographs here. Okay. I'm going to erase this. Okay. Now, for example, I can write sentences like this. And I could say, for example, you have to, but this is very formal. Y es una manera de decirte que mi autoridad la estoy ejerciendo, diciéndote que, children, you must do your homework. Debes hacer tu tarea. So, you must. You must do your homework. Okay. For example, you mustn't, you mustn't hit people. No debes pegarle a la gente. You mustn't hit people, for example, okay? My number three would be, you must eat healthy food. You must, you must eat healthy food. Yes? Now, you must help your little brother or sister, okay? You must help your little brother and here I have sister. Yes? Or my number five, for example. Um, You mustn't eat junk food. You mustn't eat junk food. Okay? Junk food, healthy food. Remember that? Okay? Now, number six. Number six. You must take a shower every day. You must take a shower. every day. I'm sorry about this. Oh my God. My handwriting, I know. I was going to be a doctor, that's why. <laughs> okay. You must take a shower every day, okay? Now, my number seven, okay? You must not, okay, where, when we are in the classroom, you must not You must not make noise. Make noise. Or when you go to a library, okay, you mustn't make noise because people uh, are reading, okay? So when you go to a library, you must be in silence, okay? So we have number one, you must do your homework. Uh, okay, look at this, must, and then you have the verb. Mustn't, and then you have the verb must, then you have the verb, must, then you have the verb. No tenemos nada antes más que el verbo, la palabra must y mi verbo, ¿ok? Mustn't eat, must take, must, eh, bueno, aquí está the negative form, mustn't make or must not make noise, ¿ok? That's my number seven. Children, I have to erase and I'm going to write number eight. Okay, my number eight. Mm, you 
must learn. You must learn these verbs. My number nine. You must study. You must study English every day. Really, children. You have to work, you have to study, you have to review, you have to study. You must study English every day. That's the only secret, okay? And then the last one. Mm -mm. Okay, you must eat healthy food. You must eat healthy food. Okay? Okay. So this is must. Now you're going to underline the modal verb. The modal verb is the word must. Must, must. So don't get confused with this word. This word is most, most, and then we're, and this one is must, most, must, must, must. It's the same thing, but here, when I have most with O, es otra cosa totalmente diferente. And here, when I have must with U, means deber. Y this is a modal verb. A modal verb. Yes, must, deber, in a formal way, okay? Yes? Okay, children. So please do, um, okay, you're going to copy these sentences. You are going to do some sentences by yourselves, but, but don't, don't do anything. Just copy these and try to memorize these. Okay, so look at this um, uh, formula. You have your pronouns, then you have most, then you have the verb, and then you have the complement. You have pronouns, you have must, you have the verb, and you have the complement. The complement is the rest of the sentences, English every day. Then you have you, you have must, you have the verb, and you have the complement, okay? And that's it. So you must study, you must behave, you must take a shower every day, you must wash your hands every day. Remember that you have to wash your hands many times, yes? You must uh, go to bed early, uh, you must practice your uh, vocabulary and spelling words, you must learn the verbs, you must uh, practice grammar every day, you must send the work, okay, you must write the dates, okay, every day, uh, you must uh, study every day, yes, okay, yes children, okay. So you have 10 words, okay. And you can write he, she, or it. For example, he must, and it doesn't matter if I have a he, he must do homework. Aunque yo tengo un he y sé que es una S, en los, en los modal verbs, el verbo va en present sin la D, sin la S, perdón. He must do homework. She must take a shower. I must take a shower. I must do my homework, okay? Yes? Okay, children, thank you so much. Bye. Ay, me quedo, no me, me 